Hello and welcome on this episode in Expert Notes. Today I show you my new XPS 13. You can see it here, it's absolutely fine. It's definitely no uh, 15 or something. You can see here it's only 30 centimeters wide, so it's definitely not. I have no strings attached, no razor core whatsoever. What you see here is real life performance. The only thing I don't like about it, it's really hard to open, but you have to deal with that, I guess. Okay, so let's find out what we have here. Uh, There's the starting view here. And here we see the, the specs. You can see it here. I zoom a bit closer for you. But we'll make sure that you see this is a one-shot thing. I don't edit afterwards. We have a 7560U here and 16 gigabyte of RAM, and we have onboard graphics. Uh, that's something you don't see here, but there is no graphic card whatsoever. You see, this XPS uh, 13 version comes with the 7560U. And uh, the people in the store actually wouldn't recommend to edit 5K videos with it, but this is what I'm gonna do today. And I will also render it and you can see how fast it is. Uh, the, the, the new KB Lake uh, CPU actually uh, says it's for 40% or something more optimized in uh, video encoding. So I zoom again a bit out. What we see here is my program. This is a Cyberlink. And maybe you have some experience with that, but I, I prefer the Cyberlink experience because it's very easy to edit. And uh, you can see here, my line is definitely uh, fluid. Well, it's not perfect, but I think it's definitely fine. When I go over, it reacts very fast and I can edit really easily. You see? So, and I have here, uh, I did also some color grading already. Uh, sorry, it's my uh, German version here. But I was doing some corrections, so the CPU has some rendering to do too. And I will do some color correction too here. This is important. Let's do some color correction. I also preset it. So it's fine. Okay. So uh, we see here, this is, a, this is a 5K video, which is around in all uh, 4 minutes and around 41, uh, 4 minutes and 41 seconds. You can see it here. I go a bit closer again. Yes, 4 minutes and 41 seconds. Okay, you see it here. Good. So let's find out if this little thing can render it actually. And let's see how fast. It's something people wouldn't recommend to me. But let's see. I can tell you my, my, uh, my larger machine takes for this kind of uh, video editing uh, and rendering around one hour or so. But, uh, but it's definitely a bit older. It's also an i7, but it's a 67, uh, 67K, so yeah. So let's find out what's the, the difference on KB Lake now. So I have a setting you see here. This is uh, this is recognized on YouTube as 5K. So we have this resolution. We have a usual uh, FPS rate of 23. Uh, well, it's almost uh, well, it is 24 actually, and uh, we have 100 kilobytes you can see here so it's definitely not uh, some some easy rendering here okay it's quite heavy 
and everybody said I couldn't do it with this kind of machine but let's see so I have to adjust the camera a bit again and I, I only choose my folder here for a second uh, videos yes I want to and let's save it here and let's start so I've absolutely no no strings attached no razor core or something and we go rendering now what is what is really cool it should be finished in 16 minutes so 16 minutes is very fast actually i i didn't believe this at first you see how fast it's going for 5k video rendering i think that's really good i will i will keep recording here so you can measure yourself how long it takes to render this almost five minutes long 5k video there's also some cpu usage on video correction and a little bit of color correction and a little bit of color grading so it's definitely not only rendering the the already existing file it is doing some corrections in the background it looks really fast actually i have eight percent already if you uh if you don't want if you don't want to see the whole thing now you can probably uh, skip the video a bit forward uh, but i think it's kind of amazing you, you see how fast this is going every second so intel definitely did not uh, did not say a cheap promise when uh, telling us that KB Lake is 40% faster than the previous version. My Skylake CPU here would probably take longer. That's going really fast, yeah. Yes. So uh, what maybe is interesting, let's find the CPU usage. This maybe slow down the process a bit, but I think it's already so fast I can easily find out what's going on here. So what do we have? We have 100% CPU usage and uh, It's going with 10.8 gigahertz and 100% load. That's really cool, actually, for this small dual-core CPU. I didn't think that is possible. Well, then the store also didn't think it's possible. So this is why I show it to you. That's really cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how hot it is, but it is quite cool. I just uh, held my hand on it. It it still feels really cool. So I will put this uh, this window here so you can see what it's doing. And let's wait for the rest of the video file. The usage keeps at 100%. That's quite cool. I'll enlarge this a bit, yes. <laughs> yes, what we have here, yes, very good. And uh, 
the RAM actually is at 35 percent so when the CPU is in turbo mode it can reach up to 3.8 so 2.8 is around a good uh, a good uh, speed the, the lowest speed it would reach would be 2.4 as you see here but why, why is the CPU so fast here? we actually render on board Nobody would tell you to render on board. It's usually twice as low. My, my thoughts about it is that the 7560U has an Iris P40. When you have an Iris P40 on board, uh, sorry, P640. Yeah? When you have an Iris P640 on board, you have uh, more rendering cores a bit and uh, bit eram and i think this is what uh, what it makes so fast here it's a, actually it's enough to to render 5k when we have uh, 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes rendering for 5 minutes 5k uh, video material i think you can easily render 1 hour overnight is no problem and as you see that uh, the temperature seems to be stable otherwise the speed would go lower it does not uh, thermal throttle or something it keeps the 2.8 uh, gigahertz and the speed is constant it's actually really cool i didn't believe it at first either So we have almost finished. No, yeah, yeah, we have 41% still, but it's going good. It's going fast. I will probably stop talking here now, and I will keep recording this video for you, so you can find out how fast this actually goes. If you don't want to see that, just skip it forward.
So, we have finished. Uh, it's now, yeah, it has completed the file. It's perfectly fine. Uh, let's find out if it's okay. Here we have our file. Okay, so as you see, it works perfectly. Very cool. Good. So the CPU usage is back to normal, as you see here. And uh, the computer itself, as you see, is actually... It is a bit hot, but it's not extremely hot, I think. It's, it's still very cool. And here too, it's about hand warm. So it's, it's not really hot. So this proves rendering 5K videos with a 7560U uh, low energy dual, dual core CPU is definitely possible. I think as long as you keep the video editing to uh, not extremely professional, uh, you're perfectly fine. If you're simply about uh, uh, vlogging or something, you make some short scenes, uh, you should be perfectly fine and it goes really fast. I have no power connector attached. so. I was rendering this on my Akku. I, I had 100% on my Akku battery and now it is to 87%. So I'm perfectly fine for quite more without power cable. So this for me, uh, it was surprising. I hope it was surprising for you too. And yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to support this kind of uh, videos. Keep, uh, keep uh, posting on the comment section if you have ideas uh, or what you think about the uh, XPS 13. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.